she comes across like diamonds, diamonds Easy in love when the lights are low She comes in to focus, focus The closer she gets, the more I know She takes more whiskey than my wine, I wine Now, for quite a long time, I have been a fan of Grant's blended scotch whiskey. I have had many several bottles of Grant's finest Founders Reserve uh, blended scotch whiskey before I got more serious into smell and taste. I used to just drink it because uh, it agreed with me. Then at some point I tried the Sherry Cask edition which I also enjoyed and now there's a H statement one. This one here. It's Grant's eight years old. It says on here, Cask Editions, Edition en feu, blended Scotch whiskey, whiskey écossais. Eight years old, sherry cask finish, vieilli en feu de Jerez. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to give it a try. It's a uh, 40% alcohol by volume, 750 mils. Let's see. An eight year old sherry cask finish. Rance. All of their blends that I have tried have been good. They've not been great, but they've been good. They've been very drinkable most enjoyable. Went down easy. Oh. Definitely more sherry than I usually get from Grant's. And I think there's more malt here that I usually than I usually get from Grant's. It's definitely aged longer than Grant's usually is. I'm definitely getting a grainy note. And cherry, and some malt. Oh, the malt's really coming in. And so is the sherry, like the two are intertwined. And twisted around each other. Smells good. Now was this? It's a sherry cask finish. So I'm still getting a bit of vanilla. Touch of dark fruits little bit of what I can only describe as pea soup. I don't know where that's coming from, but I describe it as pea soup. To me, it may be pea soup. To, to someone else, it might be saffron. I don't know. Some dark fruits. Raisins, prunes, pea soup. I don't know where that pea soup's coming from, but I'm getting it. Maybe it's from the gin and tonic I had just before this. I don't know. Ah. Yeah, definitely there's a grainy note underneath that. You give it a give it a taste. And my apologies for the buzzing noise, if there is a buzzing noise on the video, is because I have fans going. 
it is warm night tonight. I have the air conditioner in the other room, which usually you can't hear, but I have a fan in the corner over there, which is uh, moving the air around, just to move the air around. Otherwise, the air gets stagnant and too hot. Okay, let's uh, taste it. Mm. Despite the fact that it's making one of my teeth hurt a little bit, I think I have a, a, a nerve problem with one of my teeth. So the back molar back there on the bottom. And lately it's been giving me a little bit of, well, sensitivity. I wouldn't call it exactly pain, but sensitivity. And maybe it's sensitive to alcohol, but it's only 40%. This shouldn't be a big deal. It also hates chocolate. That tooth does not like chocolate. Indistinct, darkish ripe fruits now that I'm nosing after a mouthful or after a sip it changes the whiskey is always a little different on the nose after a sip than before you take the first one well integrated I get the grain notes I get the sherry finish I get a little bit of Del Monte fruit cup in between there especially those Del Monte fruit cup cherries with a little bit of the syrup that's in the Del Monte fruit cup The extra age has made it a little more oaky than you'd usually get from a Grant's Finest, but oh, it's not bad at all. It has a little bit more fruit, quite a bit more fruit than your regular Grant's. The pea soup note has disappeared by now. That's a reasonable little starter if you're going on towards um, some Glen Farkless or some Glen Dronach or another heavy sherry, sherry whiskey. Um, if you're going on to a, to a sherry Macallan, if you're going on to a to a sherry flight, this is a good place to take off from. It's also a cheaper alternative to single malts because the Grant's Sherry Cask, eight year old, is only $44.99. So, um, 4.5 divided by 2 gives us 225 for the goods and services tax plus 4. 50 for the um, BC liquor tax plus 10 cent bottle deposit plus 44.99 is equal to 51.84 out the door. Yep, that's 51.84 out the door. 
Is it worth fifty dollars? When the regular grants is quite a bit less. Don't get me wrong, it's an intriguing blend. It's quite pleasant. It's a good place to start. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But you know me, I have to try everything at least once. And this might get better with time. It's not at all bad right now. Oh, there's the caramel. I'm getting caramel now. Finally, I'm getting caramel on the palate. Maybe my palate wasn't really ready to taste whiskey. Maybe the gin and tonic messed it all up. I really don't know, but this is working. This is definitely working for me. All in all, not a bad whiskey. And as usual with Grants, not a great whiskey either. But it's all right. Slunch of a. Food quick. 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 <laughs> <laughs>